Hello, this is Arlen with today's podcast at imatechgeek.com. Hey, today I want to show you guys a quick way to produce a podcast. Okay, and I'm using a service called sermon.net. It is free with ads, or you can have a paid subscription and you can add video on top of that. Um, but this is for a ministry or a church who wants to produce a podcast for their uh, Sunday worship service or something like that. Okay, so let me show you a, a little bit of um, how you would go through producing your podcast and then uh, uploading it into the service. Okay, I'm going to log in. And it's going to give me a login box. Actually. Okay, once you log in, you get this screen that says add a new record. This is actually in the studio if you ever get lost. And if I was ready to upload the uh, Sermon of the Week, I would click here, type in the title, click Next, and go through all the steps. But before that, I want to show you how you might produce your podcast. Okay, uh, Clicking down here in Software, Sermon Studio gives you some software to help you with your podcast, okay? So this is for PCs. If you're on a PC, you click here, download and install this software, and then uh, go through this demo. There's a, a minute, 30 second demo on how to take a CD, convert it into an audio format, and join different tracks on the CD in order to upload it for your podcast. So that is a really handy tool, a handy thing that we can use. Uh, if you scroll down here, there are other software products that I think are free for the most part that you could use to create a, a more robust podcast. Okay, because I'm on a Mac, I tend to come down here and use GarageBand. And when I want to do a podcast, uh, I actually have a template set up, but when I start from scratch, I'm going to choose New Project. I'm going to click on Podcast, and I'm going to choose. And I'll give it a name, Podcast. Okay. Replace that. Okay, and then you get this GarageBand interface here. You can see a podcast track with uh, artwork and a male voice, female voice jingles. Uh, I'm going to drag my artwork up here into this box somewhere, uh, but I want to put it as close as I can to the start. Okay, it didn't quite get there, so I'm going to nudge it over. Okay, so that's my artwork for the podcast. Um, I'm not going to have any jingles, so I'm going to command delete, command delete, command delete. Okay, take all those out. And I actually have already produced my podcast here and I exported it into an mp3 format so let me just drag this in here somewhere okay and it didn't come to the beginning so I'm gonna just grab it click and drag that down there okay so you can see this is my podcast all produced and everything um, what I've done in GarageBand is I've created an introduction that I use for every podcast. Then I attach my worship music for the, for the uh, worship service. Then I attach the sermon of the day. And then I have, I've recorded a closing. And uh, I wish I could build it all for you, but I don't have time to do that. So let me just play for you some of our introduction. So you can see how you might want to produce your podcast. Aloha. Welcome to Christ Church of Kapolei's podcast. My name is Pastor Arvin. Am I got here? Okay, that's enough of that. You get the idea that I've created this introduction in GarageBand. I save that file and then every podcast I produce, I just come here somewhere in the audio I click and drag the introduction, then I come into iTunes, I click and drag uh, the audio CDs that I've 
ripped from the Sunday message. And usually I have two tracks. I have track one, which is the worship music. Drag that in there. And I have track two with the sermon. What I'll do is I'll scroll down a little bit to the end of it. Then I'll drag the next section in. Okay. And when I'm all done with that, save the file out. And then I come up here to share. Export podcast to disk. I'm not actually going to do this, but uh, I'm going to go with an MP3 encoder because that tends to be popular. And then I'm going to go with a spoken podcast, and that comes out in 64 kilobytes per second. Stereo. It's optimized for voice. But, you know, even though it says optimized for voice, the music on my podcast comes out really good too. So, small file size, optimized for voice and music sounds pretty good too so that's the perfect size uh, file that I want about 27 megs it, it's a little big but it's bearable okay, I'm, I'm just gonna cancel it actually let me just jump back into Firefox Okay. so if I was gonna add this record here's how, how I would do it click on add record then I, the title of this episode is Supernatural Breakthrough Part 1. The date, well this is today's date, but I'm going to backdate it till Sunday. Speaker, go with Senior Pastor Arlen McGotham. You can put in a series or scripture, but I'm not going to. Then type in a description here. And some keywords here breakthrough oh, maybe Jesus oh, that's that's probably pretty good and this bottom box you can create different channels um, some of them I have are private which are only for uh, my leadership team and a couple of them are are public I've created a channel for Japanese because when I travel to Japan, I um, I speak at different churches and they give me CDs and then I upload them into my podcast. But this one is just going to go into the main channel. Assign it there. Nothing else. Save that. And then, okay, this is the summary. Um, I'm going to show it in the player podcast. All that all that is normal doesn't change. What I usually like to do is I come down here to the Media Upload Center. I click 64 kilobytes per second, which is what I think um, I exported in GarageBand. I'll select the audio, and I just have it here on my desktop. Select that. And then I click here to begin upload. So there you have it. That's how you that's how I produce a podcast and upload it into sermon.net. If you have questions, drop me a line. If not, check out my website, I'mateckgeek.com. Thanks for watching.